Hi guys, what's happening? The Washington 607 here. Here to do a new Blu-ray um, DVD update. Uh, some of these I've got from friends. Um, some are from Target. No, not Target. Barnes & Noble. Some are from um, Best Buy. But let's start with one of the TV series that I love. This is the first season of The Following with Kevin Bacon. Uh, he plays an FBI agent. And he's trying to hunt this guy. What's this guy's name? James Purifoy, who's a serial killer. Kevin Bacon's um, character put him in jail nine years ago, but somehow he escapes from jail and is kind of like a hunt. And Kevin comes out of retirement and rejoins the FBI and trying to hunt him down. This is a fantastic, fantastic show. Good psychological thriller, a lot of killing and stuff. And um, I think the second season starts next Sunday on Fox, but this is a fantastic show. And it's just, you know, you don't know. And this guy has a lot of followers. You know, you don't know who's on his side and who's on the side of good. So it's a great... It's a great show, and I'm sure my friend Aaron will support me on that one. Uh, this is a DVD of a movie called Thanks for Sharing. It has um, Mark Ruffalo, Tim Robbins, Gwyneth Paltrow, Alicia Moore, and also you see we have our girl Plank. It's like a romantic comedy with these couples that have these obsessive personalities. Um, I think um, Pink's character is like addicted to sex or something, but uh, it's a smart little comedy. I actually liked it. My sister actually saw this in the theater and she really liked it. So, got that. This I got for four ninety nine. This is crazy. I remember this movie, Rolling Stones, of Esther Zalone and Dolly Parton. He plays a cab driver and she has a bet that she can make him into a famous country singer. It's a, like, it's a silly comedy, but it, you know, it's, it's, um, it's, um, but no, but it's, um, a cute, but it's a cute little movie. On TV, I've got my, these in Downton Abbey. Um, season 3. Season 4 started last Sunday, but I had to DVR it, so I'm kind of starting over with Season 1. I love Downton Abbey, one of my most favorite shows on television right now, on PBS. Fantastic. Uh, a lot of these are still in the plus. I haven't watched them yet, but um, finally picked up District 9. I never saw this in the theater, but I've seen a lot of people in our community show it, so I'm going to give it a shot. Let you guys know what I think and stuff. A lot of people told me it was good. It was worth picking up, so I definitely got it. And this is another one I got on recommendations from you guys. So I to get Arnold, Last Dawn, yeah. Yeah, but I'm anxious to see this. I never saw it in the theater. I know this is the first, I think, movie Arnold did once he left, you know, the governorship in California. So I'm definitely willing to give it a give it a shot and stuff. And these next two are steel books. I've never had any steel books and stuff, but I got this at um, Best Buy, for, I think it was for $9.99. We got Denzel Washington and Ryan Reynolds in Safe House. I'm anxious to really see this. I never saw this in the movies neither. I didn't go to a lot of movies back then. A little too expensive for me. But I'm definitely willing to see that nice still book. Another one I got for $9.99. Robert Downey Jr. Jude Law. Sherlock Holmes. Game of Shadows. I actually want to get the first one. They had the first one there too. I may go back and definitely pick that one up. Another good still book. There. Still plastic. Um, and, and this I always wanted to see. Justin Timberlake and Ben Affleck and Runner Runner. This one, it was a good movie and stuff. And well, of course, my sister went to see it at Justin, and, but she said it was good. So maybe, you know, once I watch them, I'll let you guys, you know, maybe I'll do my own little reviews on them and let you know what I think about Runner Runner. Another one that I'm dying to see Joseph Gordon Levitt, Scarlett Johansson, and Julianne Moore. The Don John. Very funny movie. It's the first, I think it's the first movie that, um, Joseph Gordon Levitt, I think he wrote it and directed it also. You can see Tony Danza back there, kind of a little bit of a player there. You see Scarlett Johansson looking as hot as ever, beautiful. This movie I remember from a long time ago, I finally watched it last night. Um, Jeff Bridges, Karen Allen, star man, he plays like an alien that takes the shape of her dead husband. And then like there on this, and she has to drive him to somewhere to meet his spaceship. If he doesn't, then he's gonna die. Then they run into like the FBI, trying to track them down and kill them and stuff. But it's real funny. I watched it last night. I remember how great this was, Starman. And I think Jeff Bridges got a Oscar nomination in 1984 for that. This is one that a person, a good friend of mine, the VC, sent me as a present. I remember this: Claire Danes' Broke Down Palace. I love this movie. It has Bill Pullman and Kate Beckinsale. They play two friends and they go to Thailand on this trip, and then they both then they meet this guy, uh, this Australian guy who happens to be a drug runner, and they're stopped at the border, and arrested for trying to peddle heroin out of the country, and they wind up in a 
in a um, like a Hong Kong Thailand prison and Bill Pullman plays like the lawyer that tries to get them out it's really good very good thriller the ending kind of surprised me though but it's very good Claire Danes broke down palace now these next three are from um, Bones and Noble they had to buy two and get one free so first I, f I picked up Robert Altman's Nashville which I'm very excited to have this is the what is this? This is the dual format Blu-ray, Blu-ray DVD. I'm anxious to see that. I'm definitely gonna be watching that this week. And let you guys know. I remember this movie from a long time ago. Excellent. Next one I brought. I wanted to get was Francis Ha. What is this? Buying number six eighty one. I was dying to see this. I'm sorry about so the plastic on it. Once I watched it, maybe I'll do a few reviews myself. But I'm going to get that. And since they say you get the third one for free, I know you guys have been talking about about this, and I decided to get it. Obashi's house. I'm anxious to see this. Aaron's been talking about this so much when he shows this criterion. I definitely want to see what it's like. I'm really, really anxious. Just check this out. And this is the Criterion Collection 539. So definitely, I'm gonna definitely check that out. This is the Blu-ray edition video and audio high definition so house so guys i just wanted to show that to you find out i picked up a lot of stuff in the last week and a half so hopefully i'm gonna watch you know start watching these through the week and maybe do you know a few reviews of how i feel i've never done that but i'm willing to give it a try so guys thanks for watching and leave a comment down below subscribe and i will see you next time take care